So you want an old muscle bike or banana seat bike, but then you saw the price and then you were like, I don't know. Welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. So today we're going to be talking about the person that wants to get into an old muscle bike or banana seat bike um, doesn't have a lot of money to spend. So this isn't going to apply to everybody, um, but I get a lot of requests to do something like this. Um, especially from younger people, which is awesome. Um, and nowadays, with the price of everything, this can help out as well with that. So what we're looking at right here um, is a Sears Spider, um, which is one reason it's going to be cheap. And the second reason and the biggest reason, and this will apply across the board, 20-inch banana seat bikes, is it's a girl's bike. Now, years ago... Um, like when I got this bike probably 25 years ago, the girls' bikes were super like looked down upon. Nobody wanted them. Nobody wanted to do anything with them. Throw it out by the road in the garbage. Give it away for free. Just get it out of here. You know, there was just no demand, no market for them at all. And then, you know, at the most, you could pick up a bike like this for like 20 bucks. You know, usually it took $10 free. Um, nobody wanted the girls' bikes. The boys' bikes were always in demand. People always wanted them. Um, as of recent, because of the price of boys' bikes, the girls' bikes have went up a little, but they're still way more affordable than getting into a boys' bike of any make. Um, so that's my biggest recommendation. Um, and you can do anything that you could do on a boy's bike to a girl's bike. Um, especially on a lot of the other brands like Huffies, Sears, Murray's, um, etc. Um, it's even easier because they use the same fork um, where Schwinn, the forks for the girls' bikes are specific to the girls' frames, and then the boys' forks are specific to the boys' frame because of the head tube length. Um, with the other brands, they use the same fork on girls' bike and boys' bike because they both have a longer head tube. So, the, the second thing is, when you're riding a girls' bike, it basically rides exactly the same as a boys' bike. There's no difference other than um, the top tube you know, it's not straight across. Otherwise, it's the same thing. So you're going to get the same experience. You're going to get to have fun. People are going to think it's cool. That You know, they they aren't going to give a crap. And if they do, they're a loser. Don't waste your time on them. But you can pick up, you know, at, at flea markets, swap meets, Craigslist, uh, marketplace on Facebook, even eBay, you can get girls' bikes super reasonable. So if you're looking to get into an old vintage bicycle, 20-inch muscle bike, banana seat kind of era bicycle, start looking at the girls' bikes. If you're just starting out, my first banana seat bike was this bike, and it's a girls' bike, and I had tons of fun on it. Um, but, you know, for like a quarter of the price of a boy's bike, you can get into something like this. Um, I would say, you know, for a decent shape one, it can vary from anywhere from, you know, maybe $50 to $150. So not super, you know, outrageous. Some of the more rare ones and some of the Schwinns can be you know, $250 on up. Um, but for most of the bikes, I would say that'd be a pretty decent price range. I would not pay more than like, I would never pay that much for a, a girl's bike anyway, because I don't, I don't really, I don't really need any more bikes. Um, but if you want another video I did, how to find an old muscle bike or banana seat bike cheap. That video is on my channel on the muscle bike playlist. Also a ton of videos on this bike when we revived it and got it um, went through the whole thing. How to revive a vintage uh, muscle bike or banana seat bike. Also some videos on a Schwinn Fair Lady girls bike on, on the channel as well when we redid that one. 
Um, so tons of stuff to go check out on the channel if you're interested. Um, but if you're the person that's looking to get into this and you, you don't want to or can't afford to spend the prices that people are asking for, you know, old banana seat bikes, especially the Schwinn's, it's just outrageous, you know. 500, 800, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. I've seen as much as $15,000 for um, bikes. And for the average person, that's just out of the question, especially if you're a young kid and you're just starting out. Um, but even if you pick up one that's a little bit rougher for, say, 50 bucks, you know, um, you can fix it up. Say you, you've got a little over $100 into it, and then you, it, you know, if you want, you can always sell it and get your money back out of it. So, um, a, a good thing to get into would be a girl's bike because you're really not gonna, if, if you get it right, you won't lose money on it. You'll have fun with it. They're easy to work on, they're fun, they're cool. People really dig them, and uh, that's my recommendation. So, for all you people that have keep asking me about that every time, like this is your answer. It doesn't have to be this bike, but something similar to this. That's my recommendation for the way to go. So that's going to do for this one, guys. Until next time, get out, work on your own projects, get those hands dirty and greasy, stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.